By now you should know the first three directions of Tega Iljon. So now we're going to continue on and do section four through nine, or directions four through nine. I want you to start, you've just finished, in a front stance and a reverse punch. From there your shoulders are back, your chin is up. Now keep in mind as you go through all of these forms, I want you to start practicing having your hand and feet arriving at the same time and making sure that your vision or your focus is in the direction of where you're executing your technique. So if you started with a reverse punch, you're going to drift that left hand up for your set. As you do that, your right hand is going to drift over and you're going to step into a walking stance. So you're going to go from level two to level one. As you do, you're going to execute that outside and middle block. Then you're going to step forward into another walking stance and execute a reverse punch. Pushing off from there, I'm going to step back with my left foot, set my right hand into the outside of middle block while my right, left hand glides back, turn, outside of middle block. Pulling. It's really great if you can pull this hand back and pop those hips because when you can make that happen and then stop it or squeeze your hand on a dime to stop the execution, pretty soon you're increasing your power. That makes it look awesome. So I want you to execute that outside of middle block, gently gliding that hand over as you step, reverse punch. The beautiful part of that is if you can learn to really squeeze that hand as you execute that technique, as you pull back that opposite hand, pretty soon your power is increasing and your sharpness skyrockets. Stepping forward with your right foot into a front stance, I'm gonna have you drop down to that level one and execute a low block, reverse punch. From there, I'm gonna bring the left foot back up to walking stance, so I'm gonna gently glide from level two back up to level one. As I do that, I'm going to set my left hand on my belt. My right hand's going to glide up. I'm going to turn and lift up into a walking stance high block. My vision is turning to that side, bringing the hands in for a front snap kick that I want you to stick. I want you to throw it out there fast because you all know how to kick with a nice, great front snap kick. So let's bring that out. And as you do that, hold it out for half of a second to show me how amazing you are with those toes pulled back. So pull and make sure you have that follow with a punch. Pushing off, step behind. One more walking stance, high block right. Make sure your vision is turning at the same time. As you bring that left leg up, I want it to slide in and pull in a nice tight chamber. Kick, punch. Left leg's gonna come back in, bring back foot back in together. Stepping out left foot, low block. Finishing with another, staying low in your level two the whole way back. Same side punch. Nice loud key up at the end. When they say Perot, you're going to pivot on the balls of your feet, staying nice and low, bringing your hands up, and back to Chumbi. That's the execution of a great Tega Iljong. Please practice all the little pieces, because that's what's going to make it look amazing. Making sure that you squeeze your hands at the end of each technique. Making sure that opposite hand is pulling back so that your hips can counterbalance whatever power you're executing. Keeping your tummy stuck, tucked in, your shoulders back, tall and confident with a chin and focus of looking where you're executing your technique. Thank you.